This is one that's been requested a couple times, so I figured I would make a tutorial on it. And that is, how do you create an HTML file? How do you go from Flash to HTML5? Obviously, the advantages to HTML5 are that, well, it's a newer technology, it can run on mobile devices, and so on. And so you may want to basically convert your Flash file to that. Well, by default, you don't have that option. In fact, if you go to File and Export, you'll probably get confused because, you know, there's no option for HTML5. The first thing you have to do in order to create an HTML5 file is download the Flash to HTML5 toolkit that you can find on the Adobe website. So I have it up right here, and the URL is right here. It's products, you know, adobe.com slash products slash flash slash, well, whatever. I'll just put it in the details box for you to click on. But basically, you just need to click to download the toolkit for CreateJS. And then that will download, and it'll probably take, you know, a little bit of time depending on your connection. So once you download that extension, you need to open up the extension manager for your version of Flash. So in order to do that, if I just go to my start menu and go to Adobe Production Premium CS6, that's the suite I have. And then you can find the extension manager just right there and then you can click that to open that. So now we are looking at the extension manager. You have all of your pieces of software that you have installed or that have extensions. And you can click on Flash and then click Install. And then you can browse to wherever you downloaded that file and then just locate it. And then it will install the extension. Now this may take a bit of time, so I'm just gonna pause the video and we will be right back. Now after you accept some terms and you choose if you want to install the extension for yourself or for multiple users on the machine, you may get this prompt to quit Flash while you are installing the extension, which happens since uh, I have Flash open. So we will just close that and then click retry and the extension should then finish installing. Okay, as you can see, the extension is now installed on my machine. And so what I can do here is just pop back to Flash and open that back up so that we can test this out. So with this, it goes about things a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is just bring up this old file of the Mario manly legs run. And um, in order to export out in, into HTML5, you need to go to Window, Other Panels, and then Toolkit for CreateJS. Now, right here you have basically your settings here to export out, which as you can see, are, uh, don't really have a whole lot of settings here, but basically you can, if you have asset paths that you're using and so on, you can place all that. But basically, we want to, of course, publish to HTML. And um, you can choose here if you want to include your hidden layers or if you want to compact shapes and so on. Um, and you can just hit Publish, and we're just going to put it to Preview right after the fact. So then it publishes, and then we have an HTML5 file of this Flash file looping back and forth. And that's all there really is to it. Now, from my understanding, and I've worked with it a little bit, but this is still quite new. And so doing complex stuff is probably not recommended in Flash. Like I know just recently they just added button support. So, you know, it's getting there. But for instance, doing multiple scenes or doing maybe a complex game, you know, that kind of stuff may not be um, recommended for the HTML5 conversion. But anyway, that wraps it up. If you would like to view more tutorials, free tutorials, you can visit my website, incrediblettutorials.com. I have tutorials on Flash, Anime Studio, Premiere, and more. If you're looking for more extensive courses, courses that are built to take you through a series of lessons, you can visit incrediblefiles.com. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring or free public webinars, you can visit incrediblettutoring.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.